You know, yeah. I still think Anthony's a spy. So that's there's that as well. well. I think so, you're a spy. So. We'll, we'll, never <laughs> we'll never know. Anthony's <laughs> definitely a spy. Yeah, right? Man. See? They, they knew. You just have that look, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the movie podcast. My name is Daniel. I am one of your hosts today. And joining alongside me back from his mission, we can't tell you where, it's Anthony. Hello, Anthony. Hello. This is a very, uh, it's a very yeah, cool no, hello you just gave it's me. It's like a, it's, almost like a James Bond hello. It's my spy hello. Hello. It's also, do you do you think I'm a spy? Listen, we we do get a, I think we get a definitive answer for that in our interview, which we're going to talk about very very soon. But you may notice someone who is not here, and that is Shabazz. Is he on a mission? Where is he in the world right now? That's classified. But all we know is that. He's most likely a spy. He's probably, We're all spies. He's probably divulging information, uh, podcast material to other podcast services. Where oh, yeah. Is, yeah, that's, one, that's 100% stuff. Shay's MO. Yeah. He's just dropping, you know, hey, guys, you want to know the secret to the movie podcast success? Let me show you this briefcase. And he just opens it up and it's just he's also com- all of our secrets. He's also a communist, right? Like, I think that's what I heard him say <laughs> Yeah, he was, yeah. He, he's also a time traveler, and he's going back to uh, you know the KGB days in the in the '60s as well too. <laughs> uh, but like I said, this is a very special episode of the movie podcast because we have two incredible special guests joining us: uh, the writer and show creator of A Spy Among Friends, which is going to be uh, it's out now on Prime Video actually in Canada, and is premiering on MGM Plus and Prime Video in the states on March 12th. We're joined by. Alexander Carey, and one of the show's stars, who we are so excited to talk with as well, is Guy Pierce, who you know from some incredible films. Uh, one that comes to mind that we got to talk about very briefly, Memento, and so many other films. You just saw him in Mare of Easttown. Um, what an incredible lineup of films. What an incredible pairing of guests that we have. Uh, we had a great time talking with them, Anthony, about A Spy Among Friends, uh, which is a fantastic show. I think it's very, it's it's thrilling. It's a little bit of just like, you know, you are in this time period in the 60s, spy craft, all of this, and you just get so enthralled in the show. So we highly recommend it. Uh, Anthony, quick thoughts on the show before we get into the rest of the rigmarole of the movie podcast. It's it's a really good show. It. You know, I'm. I don't look like the you know the 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 demographic for that show, but I love anything that happens either during World War II or after World War II, and, and like spies and espionage and just that time period. It it's it's a one of those stories where it's not a lot of action that's happening. It's a lot of like what it really feels like to be a spy it's not always going to be yeah. like james bond i'm jumping yeah. out of a plane or you know <laughs> ethan hunt you know flying through uh, with the with a motorcycle through the city of paris it's just it feels authentic it feels real and it these does. are real characters these are real stories and a lot of this stuff you know you'll find yourself researching and like going down that rabbit hole of whoa i didn't know this i didn't know that i'm like wow exactly these, these are s- stories that you you just can't get your eyes off so it was really good and you know guy pierce being part of it my gosh like what a what a he's so good like he's always i i my hair is blonde because of guy pierce and memento right that's that's why i do it (laughs) that's why you did it we should have told him that like yeah we're this is why we look the way that we do um yeah i mean what more can you say about you know what Guy Pierce has been part of, even like if you look at some of the, the the larger, bigger budget films like Iron Man three, I think he's great in that film. He's so fun as Aldrich Killian, who you know was revealed to be the Mandarin. He is he is magnetic on screen, and he carries that through in in this series as well. So definitely make time to it, add it to your queue, watch it because you don't want to miss the series. I want to say thank you to our friends at Prime Video for making this interview happen for us. Of course, like I said, it is out now in Canada. It's now streaming um, in the UK right now too. It came out in December and it's making its way to MGM Plus and Prime Video in the States come March 12th. So make sure you watch it. Now, of course, this is the movie podcast. You can catch a brand new episode of our show all throughout the week with new reviews and interviews and all the latest movies and series. We have some incredible shows out now for you to look into. Make sure you check them out. Uh, Make sure you're following us on social media as well, too. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Letterboxd 
at the movie podcast. We were just at the Shazam red carpet premiere in Toronto. We have lots of great coverage from that, from that. So make sure you tune in for all of that and more and some great interviews coming your way. There's lots of interviews on the feed right now. It is just non-stop so make sure you tune in for all of them that we have going on and if you're watching this on youtube please like and subscribe and join our discord we're having some great conversations in there you don't want to miss it now without further ado let's get right into it please welcome alexander carey and guy pierce to the movie podcast hey alex hey guy how are you guys doing hey fellas good good i i've been have, i've been on your podcast haven't i you have not this is the first time but you are welcome uh, back anytime already i thought i had okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's it's also a very uh it's a very uh easy to remember name so it could be that as well too or we have very familiar faces yeah it's, there's a combination of options here or somebody's ripping you off or that too yeah. anything is possible uh i just yeah. want to say thank you both uh for joining us on the show today you know we're such big fans of you uh and just congratulations on this series thank you thanks very much of Great. course and guy yeah. you have a lovely background there that is a uh, an incredible collection of instruments behind you yep. nice collection of synthesizers nice collection of guitars pity they're not mine Oh, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> Alexander, for yourself, Kim Philby may not be a name that everybody knows. How did you discover Ben McIntyre's story and what made it perfect to adapt as a series? Oh, well, I discovered Ben McIntyre's stories just by reading his. I mean, I'd been introduced actually by my father to his books years ago. I started with Agent Zigzag and then and then pretty quickly after that read A Spy Among Friends. So I read it some 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 time before I even considered doing the show. And uh, what was the second part of your question? Uh, what was it? What made it perfect to, to be a series? Um, it, well, uh, it did nothing at the beginning. It was it was it was too it's too good a book in many ways. Um, and then uh, what made it perfect to do as a series? I, I, I really uh, part of it was I found a way into the story, but 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 it's when the various people came on board to do this with me, and we really this is a team effort you know starting with nick uh murphy uh who directed this and he and and um he and i met immediately got on we were on we have all the same sort of film heroes and influences and aspirations and, and then we got this extraordinary cast and some some other producers executive producers and stuff and it was it was it just was one of those things that it, it came together and the more people came and had input in it the better it, the better it got so it was a, it was a it was a thing that grew organically it wasn't just a it wasn't just a, a slam dunk and there is there is a wonderful cast you know and guy we have to ask you in the series you know damien lewis's character nicholas calls kim a man on the brink what challenges come with playing a character who has to be two different versions of themselves at any given time well it's finding the balance i suppose and it's 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 it, it, which is obviously laid out in the script but of course there are probably moments in there where i would have to check in a bit with nick and with alex about what what we might be trying to portray at this moment are we looking more at the vulnerability or are we looking more at him perhaps being in control here they're just two examples um so the the, the challenge is treading that you know, that beautiful and sort of traversing that, you know, beautiful minefield of personality that is Kim Philby, um, because he is quite a complex character and it, it's it's important for our story. And that's what part of the story is about, is that we're dealing with a character who is mercurial, uh, mysterious, enigmatic, um, and, and, and so... So, so it's just the challenge is is to just get it right, right? You know? No, that's, that's that's very true. You know, yeah. I still think Anthony's a spy, so that's there's that as well. well. I think so, you're a spy. So. Yeah. We'll, we'll, never know. we'll never know. Anthony's <laughs> definitely a spy. Yeah, right. And... See, they knew. You just have that look, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> guy. You and Damian Lewis have wonderful chemistry on screen. What was it like for both of you to build that bond with one another? Oh, it was great, and I mean, it happened pretty easily and naturally. To be honest, I think we we connect connected and and clicked with each other um straight away and you know there was there was just a a, a, a real sense that the pair of us uh, are professionals and uh, want to be realistic and want to be honest with each other and want to just get on with it and actually 
you know, get to the heart of what it is that we wanted to do. So we, we just immediately were side by side and off and running, you know, it, it, um, it was a, it was a, a pretty straightforward process. There was a lot for us to learn and a lot for us to understand individually and together. But, um, but as far as to put the personalities that Damien and I are, uh, it, it worked sort of very easily. I mean, and to watch Damien and Alex and Nick, who were all three highly intelligent guys, all speak with each other about what was going on was just a great, uh, you know, it was that was my sort of sideshow. It was great. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah. Alex, you get to explore the past in the series and it feels very authentic. What went into the production to tell the story that even includes different eras with these characters? Well, uh, a, a lot of detail um, in terms of, you know, how you prepared the show and, and uh, I think the first thing that had to happen was that Nick and I had to get on the same page uh, aesthetically, um, and which happened. Uh, uh, I think uh, it it took about three quarters of a beer to get. It. <laughs> and uh, 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 I and have so- to say, when I because I'd worked with Nick before, sorry to interrupt here. Yeah. I can't tell you how excited Nick was about how how he and Alex clearly like Damien and I, he and Alex clicked immediately and Nick getting to tell me that this was, because I think Nick's had experiences before where to have the writer, you know, with him on set has not been the experience that he he wants and because it's never really worked. And Nick was like, oh, this is uh, Alex and I, we're just, we're just simpatic. I just, <laughs> he was so excited. It was great. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, before we shot, we had a month in London uh, go, talk going through each of the scripts, talking about it, talking about, you know, he needed to figure out how he was going to do it from a director's point of view and visually and all the rest of it. And he also wanted my input, which I gave him. And um, it was, it's creatively uh, the best uh, period I've ever spent, I think, with the director. At the end of it, I was, uh, I just thought, oh, Christ, all we can do is roll our sleeves up and make every day of the process of this, just make it better and better and better. And so, you know, we, we just agreed about everything. Um, and where we didn't agree, we, we, we found where the, where the right path was, um, uh, you know, principally, you know, London, how, what does London look like in 1963 and all the rest of it? And it was, just stuff like it was just those details that we really enjoyed coming up with together. He's 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 really something else, Nick. He really is. Yeah, I love that. He's a very special person and a very special director. Yeah, I love that. And and I think you all, you see it all on the screen in this series. So I just want to say to both of you, thank you so much again for your time today, uh, Guy. Memento is a film that I constantly go back to in my brain that really you know was a light switch for me in in, in film. So I just want to say thank you for that, and I really hope we get to talk to you both again. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank Take you. care. Thank you so much, Alex and Guy, for sharing your time with us. Anthony, I told you you were the spy. It is confirmed now that See, you were the spy. They said it. That's what I want you to believe. You know, that's <laughs> why I, because I want you to believe I'm the spy, but I'm not really the spy. And I you're like you a this. triple. You're like a triple, like a uh, imposter, Tri- triple on agent, so. right? What do they call triple it? Triple agent, a triple double cover, double double okay. agent. A double double, a yeah. double double with milk and sugar agent. <laughs> I, you never know. Uh, thank you so much to them for sharing their time with us again. Thank you to our friends at Prime Video and MGM for making this interview possible. And like I said, make sure you tune in for all of the incredible coverage we have on the movie podcast. Whether you're listening on podcast feeds, watching on YouTube, or following us on our socials, a like goes a long way. Let us know what you think of the show and tune in for all of the incredible content we have coming your way. We're just getting started. That was this time with the movie podcast. And we'll see you next.